何が真実なんだ What up, humans? Karumi here, and welcome to our tips, tricks, and guide video. In this video, we are going to show you tips and tricks for Natalia. But if you guys are interested on watching the complete guide, just search for Toy Traveler Boot Camp Natalia on the search bar. Anyway, let's proceed. Set first skill to max level first. Prioritizing this makes the cooldown of this skill lower and the damage higher. That means, you can cast this skill again as soon as possible for mobility and burst damage. Prioritize second skill less since your first skill is what you need for mobility. Always upgrade the ultimate skill when available for upgrading. Natalia's passive is what makes her really unique among assassins, with the ability to conceal herself and be invisible. This really makes you a stealth assassin. Her next basic attack when concealed will let you blink behind an enemy. That's more likely of a stealth ninja. Not only that the target will be silenced. But do take note that enemies can detect when you are around because they will have an indicator above their head to tell them that you are near. If there is a red indicator on your head, it means that you are within the enemy's vision range. When you are within their vision range for 2 seconds consecutively you will be visible on their screen and could now target you with attacks. So it's recommended that when you see an exclamation indicator on the enemy's head of and yours better keep away from them as soon as possible before they see you on their screen. This red exclamation indicator is also applicable even if the enemy is in the bush you are approaching to. This is a good indicator that could tell you to either avoid going in that bush, or tell you that the target you are chasing is inside it. Another thing about her passive is your damage including basic attacks and skills will be boosted when you attack targets from behind. This is really helpful especially enemies that will be surprised with a bang from behind. Also if they try to flee their backs are facing your claws, making them more vulnerable to their inevitable death. This is also helpful on early jungling because as per the description of this skill, the bonus damage are always applied to the jungle monsters. This will make you deal more damage and kill the jungle monster swiftly as possible. We will show you some of our experiments on this skill on the laboratory me experiments part later. Natalia's first skill is what you need for mobility. With the ability to dash towards a specified direction, this could let you dash to chase enemies or dash away from your death. This is really helpful since it is expected that after you blink behind the enemy, their initial reflex is to blink or dash away from you after the silent status. In that situation, you can use your first skill to chase after them. Just make sure you make the dash hit an enemy so that you can use this skill again to either chase further or to mamba out. You can pass through walls to let enemies eat your dust. But take note that you are not able to pass through thick walls like this. Natalia's second skill is what you need to slow down enemies. The smoke will slow down enemies making it difficult for them to escape their inevitable death. Not only that, enemies basic attacks will miss if you are inside the smoke. So much for playing being a ninja. You can now achieve your dream being a ninja. Congratulations. You also have your attack speed increased, so this is best to swiftly kill targets. Natalia's ultimate skill is what you need to be back into the concealed state even without kissing the bushes. After clicking this skill, Natalia will be in a concealed state regardless if she is inside a bush or not. This could help you chase enemy further. Since your next basic attack on concealed state will make you teleport behind the enemy. This really makes Natalia a true stealth ninja. You can use this skill again after a few moments. Take note that the first basic attack after a conceal deals extra damage and silences the enemy. So this is really helpful against enemies that could use skills for mobility. Also, you can use this to escape death since being on conceal grants you additional movement speed. You can use this in combo with your other skills to execute the best escape you will ever do in your lifetime. Also, using this skill will empower you with additional physical attack for a few seconds. This contributes additional damage that will make your damage burst even more. 
Lastly, this skill is really good especially if you are in a place without a bush like your base. You can go into conceal because of your ultimate skill without the worry of finding a bush. Here we are again with our experiments. We have our favorite lab rat, Rakuten, to demonstrate with us some heroes that could be either a threat or a food to Natalia. First, let's have Iritel. Iritel's second skill deals an area of effect damage and roar around her. As what we have mentioned earlier, taking damage will take you out of the concealed state. The range of Iritel's second skill is really wide. So if Iritel could see an exclamation above her head, it would be safe for her to use her second skill immediately to reveal you from the concealed state. Same goes for heroes with big area of effect skills like Kaja. Now let's have Raffaella. We all know her first skill deals damage to all enemies nearby her including enemies hiding in the bush. So that also means you can be hit by her skill even if you are just passing by. Now, let's have Bane. Bane's passive skill deals splash damage to a large area. If you are within the radius of this splash, it will hit you even on concealed state and will reveal you. Next, we have Leslie. Leslie's ultimate skill shoots four fatal bullets to its target. You should also be aware that this ultimate skill can be casted on you even if you are on concealed state. So if you are against a Leslie, always be aware that she can target you when she uses her ultimate skill. How about Diggy? Diggy's bomb chases the enemy that steps within its radius. Let's see what if we step beside the bombs. As you can see, the bombs aren't chasing us. This is because the bombs can't see us. The bombs will only be detonated when we directly step on it. Next, we have one of our favorite heroes to experiment with, Gord. Gord's ultimate skill is a channeling skill. Let's see if we can cancel his ultimate skill's channeling when he is silenced by our passive skill. As you can see, Gord is really a stubborn hero and keeps on channeling even when silenced. So better not attempt to stop his channeling with your silence. Another thing to note, if you kill this cutie little monster, it will follow you all throughout its duration. If you are in Natalia, better not kill this monster because it will be seen by the enemies even when you are in concealed state. Next up, let's test scenarios against Natalia's second skill. Her second skill makes her immune against basic attacks. We have Harith here equipped with Calamity Reaper. Let's see if our buffed basic attack with Calamity Reaper effects could deal damage to Natalia in the smoke. As you can see, our basic attacks doesn't land on Natalia. Even the true damage from the Calamity Reaper doesn't hurt Natalia. This is probably because a basic attack needs to land first to apply the additional damage. Next up we have Claude. Claude's ultimate skill is considered a basic attack. So if Natalia uses her smoke bomb while Claude is recording his viral dance video, she won't get hurt because she is immune from basic attacks. Next up, we have Badang. Badang's ultimate skill is also considered basic attacks. So if Natalia uses her smoke bomb while Badang is throwing tantrums, she won't get hurt. Lastly, we have also one of our favorites, Wan Wan. Wan Wan's ultimate skill is considered as basic attacks. So you now know where this ends up. When Natalia uses her smoke bomb while Wan Wan is using her ultimate skill on her. All of her arrows will just miss. In terms of her combo, we have formulated lots of combo for Natalia depending on the situation. So because of that, we will just show you two different combos we used on two different situations. Let's head over to the first combo. First, we make sure that we are on conceal state. Then, we land a basic attack to the target to deal burst damage and to silence them. Then, we use our first skill since we blinked behind the target after dealing a basic attack. This will ensure that the damage of our first skill has extra damage because it hid behind the enemy. Then, we use our second skill to slow the target down. Then, we use our first to chase the enemy further. Then, we deal basic attacks and now we can use our ultimate skill. This will put us on conceal state. Then, we use basic attacks again since we can deal extra damage on the next basic attack because of conceal. Then, we use our ultimate skill again and deal basic attacks. Now, let's head over to another combo we frequently use. First, we make sure still that we are on conceal state. Then, we land a basic attack to the target. Then, we use our second skill to slow the target down. Then, we use our first skill to dash ahead of the target. Then, we use our ultimate skill to be on conceal state. Then, we deal basic attack to be behind the enemy. Now that we are behind the enemy, we use our first skill again to deal extra damage from enemies behind. 
Then just your basic attacks until the enemy is dead. Then if you still haven't used your ultimate skill again, use it to flee and mumble out. Additional tip, you can be whoever you want to be. We felt like being Fanny at this moment, so we did a wall spam to kill the target. Kidding aside, we really recommend you guys to always praise your teammates for their effort. This will boost their morale and do better even further. If you want to take it to the next level, you can also praise your enemies. This is the true spirit of sportsmanship and non-toxicity. Let's all be the better creatures here. The tips I mentioned are just some of the ways you can use Natalia. This video just guides you on how to use Natalia the Kurumi way. We would like to thank our Wakandian brother, Rakuten, for being our lab rat again for this boot camp. You can search for him in-game and tell him how much you appreciate him, willing to sacrifice his pride and honor to be a test subject. Watch his in-game streams and send some flowers and hearts to compensate his sacrifice for us. So, once again, this is Kurumi and that's how you use Natalia. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to our channel for more contents by clicking on the subscribe button below. For our skin giveaway events, check out the community tab for the giveaway event post. We have our coffee account just in case you want to donate us some coffee funds. Check our coffee link on the description of this video. Please don't only trust boot camp videos from our official accounts. See you on the next Mobile Legends Boot Camp. Cheers.